Welcome back to yet another Wednesday's works on Flowworks and I hope you enjoyed last week's video where I painted this. Just wanted to show you how this turned out. So if you didn't catch last week's video where I painted this, I painted this on uh, an unstretched canvas. I used tile wall adhesive to create the texture and depth to the actual piece and what I was concerned about was once it stretched would this crack and it's been like this for a few days now, it hasn't cracked still tensions in the canvas really good so yeah i think that is a great result for the tile adhesive if you haven't been following me you're probably wondering what tile adhesive i've been using it's this dunlop rx 3000 waterproof tile adhesive so yeah great product to create that textured desired look i think enough of last week's video you're here to check out this week's painting and in front of me i have the same size canvas as i've done last week and what i have in front of me i have just taped off a horizon line and we're going to do a big sky again followed by some abstract piece on this one i want to create like some kind of moody type abstract sky so that's the challenge for this one and because i've got some paint left over from last week i'm going to use that up as well let's get some paint laid out get it mixed up and let's see how this one turns out this week I thought I'd make life a little bit easier for me today because it's not an actual stretch canvas yet. I've just bent it over the edge of the table. That way I can get in here, create the sky. Otherwise I'm trying to reach across each time and it makes life a little bit difficult. Some of you paint on an easel. I choose to lay mine flat down and I think it's just purely because I'm trying to film the thing and just makes it a little bit easier to get the camera angles with it laid flat down, but I don't actually mind it. So. Right, let's get some paint down and see how this one turns out. This one's going to be all about the moody sky, so I'm just going to properly get some paint down. saw how quick and easy that was to get the base of the sky in now it's all about sort of blending it and turning it into a bit of a sky and this is where you can be as abstract as you want you could either leave this and think yeah that that's going to do for me or you can start blending it a bit more so just a dry brush Running that ship, running that ship, running that ship, running that ship. 
took a little bit of effort to get it to where I wanted it to be, which I wanted it to be quite moody, quite abstract, so yeah, happy with that. Now we're gonna go in with our foreground, which is gonna be an ocean. So I'm just gonna take this tape off. What I'm gonna try and achieve with this foreground is I wanna reflect this type of highlight in the ocean area as well, so that's what I'm gonna try, try and do. So yeah, let's crack on with it. Just be friends. Something deep within the soul. Feeling that I'm never gonna see again. Feeling that I'm never gonna see again. 
and that is it for this week's Wednesday's work. So I hope you really like this one. Absolutely love the colours in this and the moody sort of foreground sky and how simple the reflection is in the foreground. I do like to add like a streak of sort of rain wherever it's coming in. Not too sure whether I'm improving or I think my skies definitely need work, need work, but in terms of an abstract piece, I think it definitely does work. I always think of abstract as when you're looking at it, if you squint your eyes quite a lot, you can really sort of see a painting come to life. I hope you've enjoyed this one as much as I have enjoyed painting it with you guys. And thanks for sticking around to the end of this one. Give this one a thumbs up if you appreciate my art and leave a comment down below what you think of this piece. I'd really like to read your comments. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Wednesday's works on Flowworks. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.